One of the suggestions being discussed for increasing revenue involves limits on tax deductions, as you heard in Ed Henry's piece. And that brings us to the issue of charitable giving and whether limits on write-offs would limit people's willingness to write checks. Here is Chief National Correspondent Jim Engel. All of you. More than 200 representatives of charitable organizations from across the country came to Washington today to urge lawmakers to be careful not to hurt charities in the search for revenues. For every dollar a donor receives tax relief, the public typically receives three dollars of benefit. No other tax provision generates that kind of positive public impact. As they fanned out across Capitol Hill to talk to lawmakers, the debate raged on over how to avoid the fiscal cliff. Republicans talk about capping total deductions, such as limiting them to $50,000 for any one tax filer. President Obama, however, in trying to argue the Republican plan wouldn't work, suggested the GOP would do something far more radical eliminate charitable deductions altogether. If you eliminate charitable deductions, that means every hospital and university and non-for-profit agency across the country would suddenly find themselves on the verge of collapse. Though destroying every charity in the country is a powerful political argument, no Republican plan has proposed to eliminate charitable deductions. Oddly enough, the president himself has long favored capping all deductions at 28 percent, also in his current budget. That's a different way to do that. That would raise about $600 billion over 10 years. And let's say the $50,000 cap the GOP suggested would raise more than that, some $750 billion. And the argument that limiting deductions would hurt charities was dismissed by Mr. Obama himself back in I 2009. So I think this was a good idea. I think it is a realistic way for us uh, to raise some revenue from people who benefited enormously. Uh, over the last several years. Making the wealthy pay is not the focus of the charitable community. It fears money charities would have received in donations would go instead to the federal government in taxes. If they're taxed on their gift to the charities, that's just that much less money that they're able to give to, to nonprofits. Who will pick up the slack? No one. So neither the president's plan nor the ones from Congress would exempt charitable donations from deduction caps, which why the nation's charities are squeamish. Brett? More on this with the panel. Jim, thank you.